this project should be undertaken with parental or adult supervision to ensure a safe and enjoyable experience. Yar! We won't let them get around us! Skipper, come on! Those guys are armed to the teeth! Don't worry, we'll show them yet! Watch out! <laughs> You will remember this day when you almost defeated the captain. <laughs> yes, we will win. What's going on here? Why is there such a mess everywhere? Sammy, I'm talking to you. Oh, Sammy, are you okay? Thanks, Sue. Everything is fine. It's just all wrong. The mess, the pirates, the mess. <laughs> Sue, Sue, where are you? I got it, Sue. Oh, why scare me so much? What did you get? I don't want to play pirates anymore. I want to help other toys that are in trouble. Let's open a toy hospital. Great idea, Sammy. But not now. Let's do it in the morning, okay? It's way too late now. Oh, right. I didn't think about that. Uh, let's go here like this. Uh -huh. Oh, there you are, Sue. Finally. Look what I came up with for our hospital. Great. Wait, did you stay up all night to make this drawing? Yes, yes it doesn't matter. Let's get started. I like your attitude. First, let's prepare the perfect lawn as the base for our hospital. There you go. Uh huh. Great. Now dump it all. Whoa, whoa! Careful! It's the most valuable cardboard straight from Chibidaba. So, how about heading to the store for textures for decoration? Luckily, I'm good in construction, but I'm perfect in decor. Ooh la la! So many choices! There are textures for every taste! Oh, that's a pickle! I don't even know what to choose! Maybe this one or this one? Too many choices! Stay oh. up, Sammy! Don't worry, I'll help you! Oh, merci! It is all just so exciting! How do you like this for the floor? Just what we need! And I'm thinking these to decorate the walls, and this one too! Um, we can start building the hospital! First, we need a garage! It's good that you thought of this right away! You don't say! Otherwise we would be left without ambulances! I couldn't let that happen! So, everything seems to be okay here! But here it needs to be adjusted a little! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! How many more innocent toys will suffer if we don't build a hospital? We must prevent this at all costs! I agree! Ouch. So, let's get back to crafting! We'll start with the shelves! to store various medical devices. I'll glue the texture on both sides and make the edges look neat. I am here and ready to work. Hey, uh -huh. what are you doing? I'm taking this hammer away from you, mister. Calm down, Sue. Everything's under control. I just decided to help you to speed up the process. Thanks, but I won't return the hammer to you or you'll hurt yourself again. Oh, come on, look. It's all over now and I feel great. Still, you've already had a lot of trouble in this episode. Mm -hmm. Consider it a vacation from hammers. Oh, well, what should I do then? You could help me with the next craft. Mm -hmm. It should be less dangerous. <laughs> Oops, oh, sorry. Oh. It was an accident. But at least the clay is soft, right? Any hospital should always have the best medicines. So the doctors could easily and quickly cure all patients. This goes here. We will also sign it, so no one confused it with something else. What about the rest, Sam? All is ready. You can take it. I found just the perfect place for them. Voila! Doctor, finally you're here. My son, Doctor, he refuses to eat broccoli. Hmm. Everything looks fine to me. Are you completely <laughs> sure that... Why, my son? It should have been me in his place. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll take a closer look at him. I need tools to examine a patient. You got it, Doc. Just give me a minute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh huh. So, one stethoscope for the doctor. Just oh, thank you, nurse. Hmm. Now breathe. Don't breathe. Hmm. Everything is fine here, too. You know, I think that your son has a plain whimsy syndrome. What? Oh, no! How do we cure it? Dr. Sam has all you need in his portable first aid kit. It will be closed with a valve. Looks very cute. Let's add a handle for the most convenience. 
Here you go, Doc. Right about time. Thank you. And you? Please, would you just feed your son with something else? Wow, I didn't even think about that. Here's my professional opinion. Think less. Thanks, Doc. Bye. Well, if it's not broccoli, it's Brussels sprouts. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, it's not easy to help others. I'm even a little tired. By the way, did you write down their medical history? Yeah, look what a pile. I'll throw it right here. Wait, wait. This is a hospital. Everything needs to be kept in order here. Fine. We need to make special charts. Come on, join me, Sammy. Meh, forms. Okay, I'd do anything for the sake of the patients. Don't worry, it's fast and easy. Just repeat after me. I'm like this. You see? You are a great teacher, Sue. I did it in no time. Here. Now all the documents will be in one place. We also need a medicine cabinet with a door. Hey, but it's empty! This won't work! I have an idea! Now I will show you an amazing trick that I learned at the School of Merlin! What a great trick! Oh, hello and welcome to the Dr. Sam's office. Come, sit. <gasps> uh, uh, so we have no chairs. Here, I've made the seat and you do the rest. Will do. Comfortable and beautiful. You definitely forgot about the laptop. How else will I register my patients? Did you mean how would you play video games during breaks? <laughs> you figured me out. But doctors also need rest. Duly noted. <laughs> okay, the desk is ready. You can invite the patient. There, there. Please, have a seat. The doctor will be right up. Sorry for the long wait. So, what did you come to me with today? Oh, I was just passing by. I'm fine. Whoa. So, you're not sick and you just came to go? Yeah, it's cool here. But it's like there's not enough decor. <laughs> Sue, don't you think our hospital is a bit boring? Let's decorate it. Sure. I think this is the best place for your doctor's diploma. We also need a bed for patients. We are a real hospital. I'll do the headboard and frame and you do the rest. Okay? Coming right up. I will do everything in a blink of an eye. What do you say about this design? A hospital bed needs legs with wheels. That's right, Sammy. It is very important. <laughs> I will make this mattress the most comfortable and softest. It's a perfect fit. And let's not forget about safety. Oh, I would like to sleep on such a pillow. And this is the place for the patient's chart. There should be a vitamin drip, just in case. And a screen for the patients to feel comfortable if they stay overnight. Here go the scales to know the exact weight. And a wheelchair, in case some of our patients need it. It is time to set the entrance to the hospital. You are right. And I made a bright pink door with a very beautiful handle. Check this out. <laughs> Let me just secure everything so that it doesn't fall. We need to indicate that the hospital is open and welcomes everyone who needs our help. Okay, Sam, just don't mix up the letters. H comes first, L comes last. Alrighty, I'm done. Hop and hop. Look how beautiful the windows are. I also want to plant these pretty flowers. Okay, I think we're done. Uh, this is Dr. Sam. How can I help you? Oh, okay. I'm on my way. Sue, so, we have a new patient. He urgently needs our help. Come on, baby. What is it? Why can't you calm down? We need to examine him. Take off the blanket, Sue. Sleep, little baby. You'll be fine. Yes, we did it. Friends, thanks for being with us. Don't forget to subscribe. And give a thumbs up, of course. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's the Queen's house. Buckingham Palace. I wonder if anyone's at home. I know. I'll go and knock on the door and find out. <laughs> oh, it's the makerphone. 
Oh, it's Toki. Yeah. Hello. It's Minute Mate Time in Australia. I'm on my way. It's Minute Mate Time. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Today, my friends, we're going to make this. It's a fur monster. And you can store all your important things inside, like this. My all-important secret emergency hair gel pot. Yes, you never know when you're going to need this. There. That looks good. Does it look good? <laughs> of course it does. Right, now let's put the hair gel back. And we can make one of these by using these arty things. Let's have a look. We've got a clean, empty plastic container like this with a lid. We've got some fun fur, a glue stick, two pom-poms, two pipe cleaners, some card or paper shapes. We've got oval shapes and circle shapes there. We've got some stickers and some sticky tape. Now, do you think it's possible to make this fur monster? Give me just one minute. Don't be silly. Oh, well, I will have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Brilliant. Let's make it in a minute. Three, two, one. Start the clock. Well, the first thing we're going to do is take our container and we're going to stick these oval shapes on the bottom. Now, these are going to be the feet. We use a nice long piece of sticky tape for this and let's turn it up. And now we're going to get our pipe cleaners and we're going to stick those on each side to make the arms. There we go. And now let's stick the other one on. There we go. Right, now let's get these circles and we're going to stick these on the end of the pipe cleaners to make hands. There's one. There we go. And now let's get another bit of sticky tape. Brilliant. Now, let's get some glue and we put lots of glue on top there like that. And then we bring in our fun fur. Now we get our lovely pom-poms and we stick them in. There's one. There's two. And now we just need our stickers to go on top because these are the pupils of our lovely, fantastic, furry fur monster. Yay! Phew, I did it just in time. But if you've got more than a minute, you could try these other ideas too. How about this multicolored monster with four arms and a bright red tongue? <laughs> or you could even try a big purple monster with three eyes and fun foam hands. Fur monsters made in just one minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Stick some oval shaped pieces of paper to the bottom of the container. Attach two pipe cleaners for arms. And stick some round pieces of paper to the pipe cleaners for hands. Glue a piece of fun fur to the container lid. Add pom poms and stickers for eyes. And your fur monster is finished and ready to put things in. Why don't you try and make it in just one minute? It's time for me to go, my friends. But thank you so much for being part of another marvellous Minute Make! Yeah! <laughs> oh, what's this? It's a mini makeup postcard. Let's see what we've been sent today. <laughs> Hello, my name is Megan. I made the parrot for you. The wings are made of stickers. I painted the head yellow. Hello, I'm a parrot. My name is Pedro and I made this beautiful robot that I think Mr. Make is gonna love. This robot is made of tin foil and I made the legs of tissue paper. My robot name is Robotico. Oh, what lovely ideas. Why don't you try some of those today? <laughs> oh, oh, the maker phone's ringing. Excuse me. Oh, some mini makers are calling. Here's the maker. I'm Sasegu. 
I'm from South Africa and these are my friends. Can you help us make a picture? What a lovely idea! I'll see you for a high five in five, four. <laughs> I told you I would high five! Oh, now, what picture would you like to make? A helicopter! Ooh, a helicopter. I like helicopters. What does a helicopter use to stay in the air? Propellers. Propellers, that's right! Everybody do a helicopter impression. <laughs> and where's our helicopter flying? In the sky. In the sky. And what else will there be in the sky? White cloud, the sun. Excellent work, Mini Makers. I think we're ready, aren't we? Yeah! <laughs> Let's make it together. I'm making a cloud. These cups are for the propellers. This is the rest of the helicopter. And we'll need a nice blue sky. We're having great fun making our big picture and that has just given me a great idea. Why don't you make something too? Make a brilliant bottle helicopter that's great to play with and fun to make. You will need a cardboard tube and some scissors, paint and an empty plastic bottle, lolly sticks and some sticky tape, plastic lids and gloopy glue, tissue paper and paint brushes, a glue stick and some stickers. First, carefully cut a small cardboard tube in half. Then, tape a lolly stick to each edge like this. Now, tape the tube and lolly sticks to a clean, empty bottle. Stick a drinks lid to the other side of the bottle. And tape another lid to the base of the bottle. Now, cover everything in gloopy glue and coloured tissue paper, like this. And leave it to dry. Next, paint a stripe along the side of your helicopter. You can even paint a window on the front. Then stick two lolly sticks together to make a small cross shape. And four lolly sticks together like this to make a bigger cross shape. These will be the propellers. Stick the smaller one to the back of the helicopter and the bigger one on top. Finally, add stickers for decoration. Your helicopter is finished and ready to play with. What a lovely idea. Why don't you try it? But right now, let's see how our big helicopter picture's coming along. Oh, well done, everyone! We, we made, made it together! together. Yeah. What a brilliant picture! It would be great fun to have a ride in a helicopter like that! Wow! We have seen some incredible sights today on our arty adventures. Remember, wherever you are in the world, get making! <laughs> oh, excuse me, it's my phone. Oh, it's Tucky! Hello. Time to go. Time to go. Oh, thanks, Toki. I'll be home soon. Oh, well, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the marvellous maker case back in its box. 